Dear Internet, the following video is filled with anger, frustration, and disgust. And it's all because of this. Is it your kneecap? It's obvious. The internet is filled with content that sexualizes men and women, but mostly women. Sex sells. And on the internet, sex sells a lot. A lot. Clickbait videos that objectify women. Today, I'm gonna be asking girls if they wanna be my Valentine. And if they say no, let's see if this will change their mind. Get millions of views, millions of followers, and millions of dollars. These videos make you a star, big and influencer. Sell your own merch and build your own brand. They achieve your dreams. How did you like tonight? In my frustration, I will not name any names, but I shall say this. When you make your content sexual, you reach too low. You reach the bottom of the barrel. And as you reach that low, remember your audience. It's the young kids who look up to you. The ones who give you their laughs, their likes, shares, and buy your sh- hey! In their most crucial years of growing up, what do you let them see? See. Videos of how to hit on girls. Videos of how to prank innocents. Videos of how to let girls kiss you on their beach half naked. I don't know. Videos of boobs as the thumbnail and asses as the content. The internet has become a toxic wasteland of desperation. desperation. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think like just for the thumbnail can I like touch it? All because we reward the like, click, view, add, and share, and forget the real purpose of influence. In this video, I said I'm not gonna name names, but I can't. I must name a few. Humans of New York. We're in a rat race. Atlas of Beauty. Oprah. Magnificent women. Ellen DeGeneres. The Mother Teresa of talk shows. Emma Watson. Thank you all for being here. Superwoman. And many more. More. These are the names we should remember as the ones who rose above easy content and influenced billions of lives without relying on that clickbait, without relying on that thumbnail. They built an empire. The internet has become our playground. It's where millions of kids spend the most time. It's not the streets anymore. It's Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Meet Devin, 9, Delaney, 7, and Dalton, who's 4. It's our responsibility as creators. I'm sorry I raise my voice when I vlog. And your responsibility as a viewer to build an internet free of sexism and free of objectification. Filled with kindness, meaning, and respect. And that responsibility... That lies on all of us. Hey, you